is the Gwen and God DJ self. My son. What's going on with you, King? My son. So now I see a picture today um, of DJ Academics. Uh, yeah. And, and he p- promoting or, or up upselling a podcast that he is uh, that he has and he has Takashi Six Nine on it and WAC One Hundred. Now at first I thought it was a, a made up picture, but then I saw videos surfing around with WAC One Hundred and Takashi Six Nine on a balcony next to each other. I mean, when I say next to each other, it was on the same balcony together. So, so I know it's not made up. No, so what the issue is for me, though, right, is this, right? You got one person. You got three people that, that are confusing to me, right? You got, first you got DJ Academic, who pretty much is pretty much the biggest instigator of any kind of beef and any kind of negativity in hip-hop. That's what he does. Then you got Wack, who is supposedly an OG, who supposedly rep the, the, the blood gang said, who is always talking about, you know, the codes and who he's connected to and all of this, he all this work he put in and all the people he put on, all of these things that he talks about. He always advocates for Pyro this and Pyro that. Then you got someone who is a straight up known rat, who rat is on all the Pyro, right? So my thing is, my, my thing is this, what exactly are you doing? Because I don't, for me, is this, right? If you're a civilian and you sit down with Takashi 6 9 because you want to interview him and you just want to know what's going on, then you, you, you're entitled to do that. But when you claim a certain culture, when you advocate for it, when you're one of the main people always talking about this codes and all of this bullshit, but then you'll sit down with a known rat just to get some level of notoriety or gets, because you know you're going to get shock value and people are going to pay attention. It's like, what, what, are, what are you, exactly are we doing at this point, though? Do like, you, what, what are we doing? What if, what if it's, it's to say that someone uh, or whack or, or anyone says, you know, there was a method to his madness. Or maybe he sat down with, I mean, we don't know, but maybe he sat down there's with no him. Me- so there's no method because they reached out to me the same way they reached out to Gilly and Gilly said, I declined because there's a certain code of ethics. It's not even about criminology. When it, when it comes to rap, first of all, let me get this straight. When it comes to snitching, it's not about criminality. It's not about street life. It's about integrity and a man who is willing to stand on what he stand on. If I get it, if I involve myself in a situation that I know can cause me to lose my, my freedom or my life, and I engage in that act because I want to be able to benefit off of that act, and then when it's time for said act and me to have to pay those consequences of that act, but I don't want to pay those consequences, so I want to see someone else pay those consequences so I don't have to pay mine, you're just a coward, right? And that's just in life. That ain't got nothing to do with the street. That's nothing. You're just a coward, right? So when you say that you uphold a certain um, lifestyle, when you say you're blood and all of this, and, and inside of the blood, the blood manual was never based on criminology. It was about upholding our own communities, us protecting our communities. But when you say that that's the lifestyle that you live in, and this man is disaccorded to what it is that you stand for, for you to utilize your voice, your time, your energy, your platform to give him a voice, it's totally contradictory to what you say you stand for. Academics is a weasel. He's just, he's a, he is just a, a blood sucker. So he's going to do whatever it takes to just get any level of notoriety. So I don't put nothing past him. He just needs to be canceled because he's just bad for the culture. But the shit that Wack does sometimes, it's just like, bro, you can't want fame and notoriety that much. It, it, it's not that, it's not that important. It, it can't be that important that you'll sit down with somebody who don't even have no morals or nothing. What do I want to, what? kind of information or anything do I want to get from somebody that has no moral comp? I feel it's just weird because, you know, like I said, I- I'm seeing that people are calling this guy a snitch. Or, or he is a, a... He did tell. He's telling... He's saying he told himself. But in the same sentence, and it's, it's a, a... You know, it's a saying, hey, do not talk to this guy. Don't be around him. But people are still promoting him being around him. And it ain't just whack. Because they're making songs, don't play the little rat in the club, and things like that are promoting them, especially like in the song, he's like, ooh, ooh, like that's promoting them. And you and other people are bringing them up in blogs and things like that. In the same sentence, people are still promoting this kid. Well, what I'm trying to say, I hear what you're saying, 
right? What I'm trying to say is there's just a level of code of ethics when you're just a person from our culture and from the streets, right? If you're just somebody who, if you claim to be a civilian, then you do not adhere or abide by those rules. But you can't every day talk about blood this and blood this and I put this work in, I did all this. And you sit down and you utilize your voice and platform to try to make money with somebody who has no level of integrity, who did everything they did was against the blood that you talk about, you represent. Like, I don't, I'm not a blood. I've never been a blood in my life anything but i there's a code of conduct and integrity in a man that i have to even i have to have a level of respect for you for me to give you any level of voice or utilize my platform yeah people are saying don't talk to him and you say you advocate for him but at the end of the day the same way we understand that if if you don't utilize your voice to talk against certain shit in this industry the same way that everybody is talking for because the, the rats, the low integrity individuals, all of those people have a bigger voice than us of integrity. We get drowned out. If we, so if we don't say nothing about what integrity looks like, we get drowned out by the suckers and the cowards that just want to peacefully coexist and make money in this industry. So my thing is this, cool, whack, right, you want to do that? That's what you into? You just trying to make a couple dollars? You, what you need to do is say that, bro. But don't every time some gangster stuff is going on in the streets and you talking about, oh, I'm going to do this to you, and this is how power rule business and all that. Like, you, what you're doing is, is you're, you're a hypocrite. You're just a hypocrite. You're always jumping in, talking about how much blood, all of this, all of this stuff, but yet it's still for the right paycheck, for the right amount of notoriety, you're willing to sit down with somebody that has no integrity. Forget being a snitch. The man just don't have no integrity at all. That's just the bottom line. He don't have no integrity. And if you if you say that you abide by a certain code and you're from a certain area and you you represent a certain thing, then that's supposed to be anti what you represent. So you gotta pick what it is that you're doing. And if you're doing that, then cool. We all right with it. You understand what I'm saying? Like we okay with it, but just but just leave the don't involve yourself in stuff that don't involve that's in the culture that's outside of what it is that you're saying that you represent. Just do something else, bro. So what if, what if, is there a, not as there a way, what if someone is like, well, I could do what I want because there's no consequences. Like, I can do this and I could go back on the street and people going to say, what's up to me? There's no consequences. But, but what I'm trying to tell you is, you 100%, right? My thing is that the consequences for me is my own moral compass. Me as a man, right? I could do whatever I want. If I wanted to snitch right now, none of these dudes going to hold me accountable. I, I, when I was do, when I was facing seven to fourteen years, none of these dudes was gonna hold me accountable. But I came home because that's that's what y'all embrace. It's my own level of my own integrity, knowing I'm a man, knowing amongst other distinguished individuals that I respect, that I call out, or all these dudes that join these sets. Right when you join these blood sets, right, the leaders of those blood sets that you join. They sit in there face their time for the crimes and the, and the wrongdoers they committed. They held that down like a man. So don't grab on to that if that's not who you are. And we can respect you being who you are. So it's not about somebody letting you back in. It's about your own moral compass. It's about knowing that you're a man of integrity. It's about being able to look in your kids' eyes because at the end of the day, somebody might accept you, but when they start looking, your kids going to look at you one day. And you got to say, I even stand up like a man on this. So if you cool or whatever it is, if the amount of money that you make makes you feel like you don't have to have a moral compass and you don't have to have integrity and honor, then that's fine. But just stay over there with the people that do. Don't try to mingle and, and co-exist with us that don't live like that. Don't try to create conflict and always want to talk to Nick. Because I don't want to be around y'all. I just want y'all to stay away from me. Stay off my page. Stop commenting about what I'm doing. Because we're not the same type of niggas. Stop trying to act like we're the same type of individuals. Stop trying to be coexist in rooms that I coexist in, that I stood up like a man every minute of my life. That's, that's disrespectful, bro. And that's all we saying is just go over there with, with the sucker shit. Y'all can do that. It's okay. We ain't even mad at y'all. Just stay away from us. All right. Uh, 800-585-1051. Uh, Mice on, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you, man.
You know how I'm on this, though. I, you I, remember I, when you I'm were in the you. club? I had to, I had to come to you to the club and say yourself, I love you, but you can't play six nine in this you club while I'm. You absolutely did. 